Hello, my beautiful beauties, and my wonderful lovelies. A pleasant morning to everybody. All right, my beauties, listen now, men, my wonderful men, my handsome men, my God bless men. You know, the Bible says to call things that are not as though they were. I'm just troubling you. All right, my, my men. I was reading a book a few months ago by Robert Morris about stewardship of finances. Let me try and sum it up quickly because, you know, this is a three minute video. He had, he struggled with money management, he wasn't good with it, spent and, you know, got himself into a terrible debt and it just messed up his life. You know, thank God his wife stood by him and he worked his way and he worked his way until he's now teaching on financial management. That's why when a dead no call it dopey, once there is life, there is hope, don't give up on people. Anyhow, in it, he wrote a true story about a couple, loving couple. Uh, the woman was a stay-at-home mom. Uh, no, they didn't have children. So of the sort like that. And um, he went to work well-to-do family because he earned, you know, a, a good and a decent pay. And the wife, because she was neglected affectionately, emotionally, you know, by the husband because he was working hard and at work at work, that void needed to be filled. Now, you know, with women, we love to spend, we like to shop. That's one of our things about us as women, you know? And she just went on a spend, spending spree. And she maxed out the credit cards, maxed them out, put herself in debt. How he found out what was happening and what went, went wrong, because she was paying, 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 and then she ran out of money and could not pay, and it just went awry. And one day he went to lunch with his you know, business partners and realized his car was declining and it declined and they had to pay and he felt bad when he checked. He saw bills coming in and he saw what went really bad. It almost decayed. Luckily, their marriage was saved. But the counselor said to him, yes, she has a problem. She developed a problem or she had a problem and it grew and this fueled it. But you contributed to it and he wondered why. He said, listen. There is something innate within us that we need affectionate love from our spouses. Once you get married, you have to work at your relationship affectionately. It's not just buying stuff, uh, going only on vacation. Somebody said, man took, you know, somebody on vacation and went out for the entire day. That was not vacation. It's to spend time. You have to talk to each other. You have to. One of the biggest um, downfalls, actually, I think it's number one on the list in divorce, is lack of communication. He never showed her affectionate love, never meant it, but it happened. Never communicated and his wife had to fill that void. So husbands, you've got to show your wives affectionate love. Please save your marriages and relationships. Follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this.